What's up, games, games, and gamers? My name is John, and welcome back to Memories Dogma Code One. Last time, basically, we, I mean, um, Katakuri's and um, his friend, I forgot the main character's name already, went to go talk, to, uh, go to a drink court, basically, to, hmm, to go talk to their dead friend from their little memories for 48 hours. And now, Katakuri's is. Looks like hacking into it and see what's going on. But let us continue, shall we? I wonder what's Katakuri's plan. I look back at Sorono with a display, uh, with an AR display. Oh, his name was Hiroku. Oh? Sorono must have given word after hearing my conversation with Katakuri. She looks at me uneasily. I choose my word carefully, try not to try and ease her concerns. I really like the background music. Serrano's must have realized what I was trying to do. She smiled peacefully. At the very least, I was able to tell her the things I wanted all this time. Thanks to that, I'm finally able to think a bit more calmly. Sorano. うん、それはもちろんいいよ。けど、また先みたいに話が噛み合わなくなっちゃうかも。うん、いいんだ。空野は答えられることを答えてくれればいい。うん。空野はあ、doesn't I can only think of one way to a certain, uh, certainty that right now. I take a deep breath. Sorano is really hit by the car? What is it? Ah, great. Sorano, you are really hit by the car? You are not allowed to ask the, uh, <clears throat> the dead about how they died. In that case, Sonoro didn't die by jumping in front of the car. The question shouldn't be forbidden. Forbidden. This is all just speculations, but it's still worth a shot. Uh, By-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-by-
Oh god. Oh. Suddenly Severino's voice turns into static noise. I unconsciously reel my head back from the receiver. At the same time, an AR display showing that Severino starts to warp. Oh, are we in trouble? Oh. Oh, that's scary. Alright, I get it. She looks so real as if she was uh, still alive, but someone else has vanished. Oh, is there something more to it? All this left a mechanical voice repeating the same lines with a frozen expression. The ernie, uh, eeriness of it gives me sh the shivers. It's almost as something that has simply mimicking uh, someone that has broke, broken and revealed its true form. Ooh, looks like we are gonna. Sorano, so I don't know why, but I have a feeling we're gonna end up saving her, making her into a human or a cyborg. Oh. oh my, an AR display filled with static noises in the moment then simply vanishes. Oh shit. Got real. Good question. I reflectively uh, drop the receiver. It falls to the carpet with a thud. It was like we were for particularly, yeah, forcibly ripped out of the fairy tale and brought back to reality. Oh, what happened? Kirikuni has been watching us while typing on his keyboard this whole time, so he's seen the whole thing, and it looks like he's as shocked as I am. The scenery feeling the room has given off uh, was long gone. Everything in here feels artificial, and even the warm conditioned air feels chilly and tense. Was this room always this hospital lot in hospital lot? Uh, hospitable. Oh, yeah. My bad. At my wit's end, I can no longer bear to stand in front of the telephone, so I go look at what Kurikuri is doing. Hacking, probably. His laptop screen filled with dialogue boxes, staying like soon. Now copying. Oh, there you go. What? We're copying her memories. See the truth. それの。ちゃんの記憶データにわりあってないと。ハッキングアクセスしてる。俺の持ってきたカードメディアに記憶データをコピーする。そんなことができるのか。コネクトのシステムは星の数ほどある制約に縛られながら、何十件なのかわから
Damn, Curry, Curry, you're a true friend. If you want to get to the bottom of something, you do it, bro. While I had lost my sight, um, my sight of uh, sight of myself, I walled in my despair. Could I couldn't learn to continue to question Sonono's death and continue to investigate the truth. There you go. I'm not the only one who sat at Sonono's death and that Sonono died. Could I couldn't is de dealing with it in his own way too. <laughs> I thought back to my conversation with Sonono as I kept over watch with the door. Sonono definitely didn't commit suicide. I want to know the truth. Why did Sonono say we shouldn't see each other back then? And why did she have to die? I need to know the truth. I stare at the, la at the laptop as I pray for an answer. Suddenly, I hear a man's voice. Excuse me from the door from behind. You should have been looking out there. What the fuck? I instantly stand up and position myself to block his view of uh, Kurikuri. At the same time, the door opens and the guy looks like a staff member wearing uh, Labrador's um, clothes and a man in a white lab coat walked in. The guy looks like a staff member smiles at us peacefully, but the lab coat guy behind him is expressionless and stares at us sharply. The guy wearing the lab coat has a nameplate on the chest of reads Isida Tomoyoki. The staff guy speaks first. The staff guy is still smiling peacefully, but the loud coat guy, Izuneda, is looking around the room intently. The contrast between the two makes it hard to say anything. After buying as much, as uh, much time as possible to keep uh, them from guessing what we're really doing. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, in order to keep their attention on me, I give them a really ambiguous reply, but soon they'll narrow down the particles, uh, particulars, whatever. Are you still not done, Kiriki? Oh, snap. Oh, he looks kind of familiar for some reason, if it's related to someone. Isiara has been silent the entire time and got impatient as suddenly he pushes his staff guy out of the way and walks in. I can't let them see what Kiriki is doing. Uh, I tried to deflect Isidia away from Kurikuni, but he just silently pushes me aside. It'd be odd for me to keep resisting, so I simply let myself get pushed away. I unconsciously glance back at Kurikuri's and... Yeah, I just put my card in the card. Kurikuri is holding his bag as if nothing happened and forces a smile. Did I manage to buy enough time? I don't know, I got a lot of <laughs> is it a glare sharply at Kurikuris who is scratching his head and laughing? Uh, We're about to dip! Get the fuck out! That's the staff member and Isi Diego explain, uh, exam the phone, Kurikuri moves beside me and hands me a card, that one he used to grab all the data, behind his back as he exchanges glances he signals toward the door, turning over his memory data. In order to not let them ga grasp our attention, I quickly, quietly take the card and hold it tightly in my hand. Let's make a break for it when, and when that Asuri Sida fellow turns his back towards us. I slip the card into my jean pocket and quietly move towards the door. Then, just as I quietly moved open to open the door, it happens. Ah, oh, shit. A siren starts echoing throughout the building. At the same time, both the staff member and Isida turn back towards us. Well, time to do it. I could have seen it. We both leap out of the room and start running. Dip, boy, dip. Oh my god, we burst out of the hallway and run out and back down the way we came. However, a few guys of security uniforms show and start running towards us. 
Kirikiri points out the passageway leading to the opposite direction he, as he runs. I run after him. Transition. Transition. However, we quickly run into the T-junction, uh, so we have no choice to pick a direction. Kirikiri dashes to the left without any hesitation as I follow it behind him. Ooh, run boy, run! Ever since the alarm started ringing, it looks like the mental pull lights have stopped moving. Most of them, uh, most of the other customers are standing uh, around confused. We continue to weave between, weave, uh, weave between them as we run. Kirikiri Kuroki uh, pulls up the AR display using the MRD. A series of five circuits appear before us with four in the ring. In the last in the center, surrounded by the others. Connect center no map da. Tsutemo, kore mata tennis net de hirotte kita mon da kedo na. Omae. Ii ka. Ore tachi wa ima kono manna kono en no atari ni iru. Ore wa sara ni kono mama hidari ue no tatemono no hou ni mukau. Tatemono o tsunagu renraku tsuro ni hijou dekuji no mark ga aru daro. Damn bro. Wakatta. Ja, soko made hashireba. Ya. Hiroki wa kono renraku tsuro no tokoro de. What? もしかしたらこの非常出口は普段はロックがかかってて出られないかもしれないだろう。もし非常出口にロックがかかってたら、お前にMRDで連絡を入れる。お、おい。もし非常出口から出られたら連絡はしない。そこから出て隠れてるから
trying to look back, I see my pursuer is still a good distance away, but cl by closely closing quickly, I completely trapped. Hmm. If I just uh, try to blindly run forward, I'll get caught for sure. Shit, what do I do? Call? Thermos. At the moment, my MRD suddenly pops up at the AR display in front of me, telling me I have an incoming call. It says that it calls from an unknown, um, unknown user, in other words, anonymous call. Is it Kuri Kuri? Kuri Kuri. Since Kuri Kuri, he might actually hide his identity. Praying that he has a way out of this, I answer the call. Oh. Who is this? Who is this? I only hear an unexpected voice at the end, uh, other end. A girl's voice. Ignore my question. You could, she continues to speak in a very calm voice. I don't know who she is, but she's right. However, that's a pretty big possibility right now. For some reason, to anonymously call to my MRD at this moment of all times is pretty suspicious. Ooh, something that I need to protect. Soto knows memory currently in my pocket. Along with Cody Cody's who risked himself to entrust me them to me. Thinking I'm given and given out the guards that came uh, connecting passageway started slowly approaching me. Shit. If I run with all my might, I should be able to make it away the pa the passage this girl is talking about. What? Oh <laughs> Transition. I'm going towards the passageway she told me about. It's not like I can think of anywhere else to go. If I'm trapped anyway, I might as well struggle until the very end. Though they might momentarily surprise the guards quickly recollect themselves and run after me. Those few seconds of hesitation are enough for me. I reach out the corner before the security guard the guards and turn left. That moment I start running a strong force grab on my right arm and pulls me forward. Oh! Who's this mysterious gal? She looks nice, she looks like a nice stowaway or like runaway or a secret agent. Is this a secret agent? That's our secret agent running towards the freedom. It turns out to be the the hand of unfamiliar girl. The girl put, puts her finger on into her li uh, to her lips as she continues gracefully run down to the hallway, her hand still holding on to mine. I see. Now that I think about it, there were four eggs in the hallway that I had, le had le left and right when I was running, and all the hallway looked exactly the same. True, true. Her voice is rather intimidating. I fall silent. I keep running. I keep running while being led by a mysterious girl. I don't know how far we run, but or how many corners we turn. Or now, sirens is still blurring. But at some point, I stop hearing the footsteps of our pursuers behind us, and then finally, transition. We're out. This is... Yeah, I can see the entr entrance hall spread out before me. There are a couple dozen people crowding in the area. We've returned to the place that Kurikuri and I have come in from. Oh shoot. It looks like we'll be running away from the entrance that have been locked and all the customers trapped inside. Hmm. Ooh, my bad. With a non committal grunt, I fall the hair late. We hit ourselves in the sea of people and wait. Eventually, the alarm finally stops and the answer voice can be heard. The moment that the announcer finishes talking to the entrance, the entrance doors are open once more. Oh wow, cool. 
この人たちと一緒に外に出ましょう。ナイス。ガリ。Assassin's Creed mode for real. Oh my god. We follow the claimer and the calmer of the crowd and leave the leaving the building. Transition. Like for real, this girl is Assassin's Creed. And there's the corporation. Transition down. No, pans down. Or is it tilt down? I think it's tilt down or pans down. Either way. As we step out outside, a look warm wind greets us. All the people who had previously been trapped inside the entrance hall all started complaining at once and began heading back through the park. The mysterious girl starts walking briskly forward, still pulling me along as we fall into the crowd of people leaving. No, Kimi wa i t a i And we're gonna lay it out for that for right here for right now, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for Memories Dog Man Co. We're gonna find out who this mysterious girl is and see if Kurikuri is safe and sound and see if we can figure out our friend Sonoro's death in the next episode. But without further ado, guys, I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, a good morning from where from. So peace out and sayonara, guys. So bye bye. Love you guys. Bye.